this one's not gonna be the kind of vlog that you're used to seeing from me. It's gonna be a little personal, let's say. Today I'm gonna talk about a project that I did which taught me so much about life, about friendship, about like hard work, about perseverance and just so many different things and it's been a year since that project was released. It was a short film that I made, that we made actually and um, the film I itself isn't that bad per se but everything that went into the making of that film can only be described with one word and that is a disaster. Now why was it a disaster? Well, to be very honest, there are two things that I learned from that, this whole experience of making that short film. Number one is cooperation and the, or the lack of it. And number two is creative differences. So let's talk about the first point and that is the lack of cooperation. Um, the thing is, when you, when you make a project, especially like let's consider the, for this case, let's talk about a film. A film is not a one man thing to do. It is a team effort. You, you can't just, a director can't just make a movie. He needs cinematographer, a sound guy, a producer, the actors, everyone has to work together in harmony and only then can the project be something good. If not, the project turns out to be, not well, the opposite of good. And it doesn't ha always have to be something that's bad. It's just particularly not what you set out to do, but it is just something that, it just turns out to be something that you, that is a lot less desirable than you initially planned it out as. That is exactly what happened in that last project. The thing that there wasn't that much of a harmony in terms of everyone working together. One of the first things that I learned from this project was trust. Trust is something that is so important in the creative field. And for some reason, we just like did not think about that before we started the project. And it just, and it just really backfired. Here's the thing, we basically set out two leads basically the ones who are going to start the film in terms of like the progression of the story they're going to start the story and in the script a half baked script which is meant for us the ones who are making the film and basically the actors who are going to be acting that first uh, scenes basically this was my batch film and we all worked on it and the next day the, after the after i send the script to the person who was a part of that who at least we wanted to be a part of the first scenes um, that person basically leaked the whole um, script because the next day we went to school for some reason everyone in the cafeteria was like giving us giving the three of us um, pointers as to how we can make the script better even though we never shared the script with them it was only between the three of us and the two of the other actors who were supposed to be doing the first scenes which was the biggest red flag but for some reason we took that we took that we took the pointers that they said and we basically like told basically we had the plan of the entire film in our head just like properly laid out but for some reason we let other people's creative influence basically create a rift between us and it just made it made it feel for us it just made it feel like what the, the thing that we were ready to do that the hour the project that we were ready to make was just not good enough even though we just we knew personally that it was something that we could do but outside influences just changed so much it changed this entire script it changed the vibe of the whole film and it just created this mess of a project. 
which perfectly leads me to the next point and that is creative differences now, if you are aware of like the movie business and the film industry then you would definitely hear the term creative differences oh this director left due to creative differences oh this uh, producer left the project due to creative differences these kinds of words were, were something that I've heard countless of times because I am someone who's interested in the industry and I, I keep up with the news and the information regarding the industry now never in my wildest dreams did I think that I was gonna experience something remotely close to this in no way am I comparing myself to those filmmakers I don't even consider myself a filmmaker it's just something that I just related to a point and that is the whole thing about creative differences why do people leave projects due to creative differences like and not only the creative differences have to be in terms of the people working in the film it can also be from the studios like that word about studio meddling like the studio basically says oh you have to put this character in you should add this you should add that to basically complete the agenda their agenda to fulfill their agenda the studio's agenda and in that process it just messes up the whole edit it messes up the whole script because it wasn't initially planned that way, it, was, it basically ends up becoming half-baked. In this scenario, the people in that cafeteria, the people who are not a part of the, this group, in terms of like the ones that were making this film, um, were the studios. And we were the ones who were the makers of the film. And they were the ones who were in telling us that this should be added, this should be um, removed, this should, uh, there, they should put these kind of these people they should not put these people it just it just added to the whole mess and it just like created this divide between between what we were trying to do and what people wanted and we literally just like after hearing that thing because the studios because the studios uh, basically told us to do so we went back to the drawing board and we started like re-editing re the whole thing and now re-editing the whole thing just isn't always a bad thing but in this case it kind of was and it just created this rift in terms of so much and it this whole film this whole project these whole rift all these rifts basically like broke the three of us the three of us basically the three of us were really great friends we're still very good friends but to be honest it was it's not the same as it was before the project began every time we just meet each other we just start reminiscing about what what life was what our friendship was before the project and then we just are reminded of everything that happened after it and the after aftermath of that project wasn't that fruitful and i've learned so much about this in the last year i've contemplated a lot i've thought about this everything just as a whole as what that that whole project had taught me and i really believe that I've, I mean, I've learned just so much and I truly believe that it has made me someone better. It has taught me so much about life. It has taught me so much about friendship. Like I said in the beginning, it, it, just, it just changed the whole perspective. And I think people should know about this before going into a big project, something that involves a lot of people. And it's just tough. This video is not made to prove a point or say that, oh yeah, I was right, they were wrong. No. I, it isn't. It's just like me sharing my experience in the sense that this is something that I face and I, if you're someone who's planning on doing something along these lines, you might experience as well. I hope you guys can take something away from this video and um, yeah, this is the first time I've talked about this publicly and if you want to watch that film that, I was talk that I've been talking about, you can check it out in the link in the description. Like you can just look at it in a completely different perspective because I sure have been like watching that thing with a completely different perspective. I see that film in a way that others don't. And I really hope I can put those lessons into practice. And I hope you guys can too. Thank you for watching. I'm going to see you guys very soon. Bye.